Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from June 16th through the 22nd, 2019. Um, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Um, if this reading resonates with you, I ask that you like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Okay, so we have the Moon, the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups or Prince of Cups. So this week just looks like a week of re-evaluating, maybe even restructuring um, a current relationship, a contract, marriage, something of that nature. You have to do this re, 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 reorganizing, reconstruction, re, you know, structuring and reevaluating if you want to be somewhere because. Uh, that's the only way that this is this relationship is going to maintain someone feels very different now in the relationship uh the dynamics of the relationship have changed uh feelings have changed thought patterns have changed values or morals in regards to yeah um In regards to uh, life, you know, in totality, you know, in a, in a whole, there's a cancer who feels differently about what they value now. At one point, maybe this relationship, this job, this whatever was of great value. Now, that has morphed, that has shifted. Uh, maybe... The priorities in the cancer's life has changed. It looks like someone is saying that there isn't enough either monetary support. There isn't a great worth ethic, a great work ethic within a particular person. Or someone is saying this about you, cancer. Anyhow, there is a, a, a definite someone is becoming very authoritative with the ace of wands and ace of swords they're concerned about health wealth and hat and happiness and they're concerned about cutting out the unnecessary starting anew uh, by way of communicating clearly and knowing what it is they need for their life uh, because someone is definitely concerned about you know the home the luxuries of or the lack of um, someone could be a working mother um, someone is uh, just trying to stay grounded in regards to uh, the tangible of life and there may not be much support from if you're in a relationship it's not much support from the counterpart there's also a cancer that is not admitting to themselves something very crucial, something very uh, profound. Uh, Self-delusion, in a sense. Um, this could be surrounding your feelings because that's the moon. So you may not be admitting to yourself exactly how you feel about a particular situation, relationship, job, family member. You could also be having problems with your mom or a mother figure or motherly duties issues if you are a mother there's a cancer contemplating an ending there's a cancer who says I'm doing so much to keep this together I'm not sure if I can continue I am defending and the only one working toward preserving this relationship and having something stable. I'm the only one putting 
large amount of time energy or money in said business relationship whatever it may be for the cancer the cancer may be working hard to move away from a turbulent time uh, a turbulent energy that is only out to gain or to win at all any cost there may be a cancer who is going in a new direction either career wise or relationship it says with this new direction you could possibly have a more healthy wealthy partnership or marriage or that could be coming to you in your social circle. Someone could be, you know, embarking on that. Or, or this could be you. But only if you make the choice to choose you. Uh, you have to analyze what you've been doing. And the systems that you have put in place. And then make a choice. There is a cancer saying there is no support and no help from counterpart. Or someone is saying this about you, cancer. There's a cancer who is separated from a particular individual job, school, I don't know. You pick whatever it may be for you. And they are contemplating contacting this person there's a cancer at a crossroads in their life and relationship due to the fact that there may be inequality here um, values have changed either for the cancer and maybe someone else isn't up to par so the cancer is now at a crossroads so I stay it, on this path that I'm on or do I go to what could be a more easy more calm more peaceful and serene path maybe of um, independent uh, of a relationship so be a single or going to another There's a cancer who feels a certain way, a new way about a particular dynamic because there's been another energy that has entered the relationship. So this makes uh, a person feel differently. There's a cancer who wants to offer their cup to, or there's someone who wants to offer their cup to you, cancer. After the ending, well, complete ending, Ooh, it may even be a divorce here. Once again, due to inequality and money. Someone's very confident about their decision or their choice. This is a choice. Because they feel as if if they stay where they are, it is toxic. It's a foundation, but it is codependent, toxic, one-sided, lower vibrational. Why did I just hear that? Wow. Gluttonous. Is somebody not taking care of themselves? The Cancer is seeing this whole relationship from a new perspective indefinitely at a place of ending, um, hurting because they're separated from someone that they really want to have complete and utter change with renewal and reconciliation with but this person is going to have to put the past down and put it away uh, cancer you either you or they may have not been so great to you in the past but this person wants reconciliation
everyone's just very confident in their convictions now in regards to what they want okay cancer i hope that this week goes well for you um i'm not going to do an extended uh but if you feel like you need a reading go over to the website and book there um make sure you use the coupon code below cancer know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well well let me leave you with a bit of advice let's get an angel answers card so the cancer kid can know you know what to focus on maybe some good news it's just someone may be divorcing or starting the process of getting un untangled and unraveled because it looks like the cancer has a newfound personal philosophy in regards to what it is they want values and morals okay unlikely um abundance and i said this if you choose yourself it looks like a very healthy wealthy relationship partnership comes in for you you may have abundance elsewhere but um maybe not where you are now you're at a crossroads so you know that you need to make some type of with this two of wands that would be a decision so you have to cut something out and that's why the ace of swords comes after you have to make a incision cut away which would be a decision so that that option is is never an option again because you cut it away a choice is different from a decision. A choice is, I have two choices. I'm choosing this one. But this one is still available. You know, it's still there. But a decision is, I have completely cut away this. That doesn't exist anymore. It's only one. So anyway, um, let's see what this unlikely is. I, I don't like that card because I don't. It's very unclear. <laughs> I don't like it because it's just unclear. You always have to, for me, I clarify unlikely. What is unlikely? What is unlikely? Okay, this card just unlikely. Three of hearts that maybe you regret not saying things. Maybe to someone that you want to reconcile with. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Ooh, or air sign. This is typically Libra or Aquarius. Can't be Gemini, but typically Libra or Aquarius. Repeating cards now. Nine of Wands. Nine of Clubs. This is the person you have kept in your heart. Secret admirer. This you want this person to be your new girlfriend, new boyfriend. Maybe that's what you regret not saying. Two of Wands again. You're at a crossroads in regards to going back to them. Maybe saying these things. Wow, that you might want some real stability with them. Ten of Diamond. Repeating card. Jack of Clubs. Uh, or Jack of Hearts, excuse me. You want to offer them your love. Wow. Okay, Cancer, so it looks like you're going to have to get true and clear with yourself first in regards to how you feel, where you are, and then how you feel about where you want to be. Okay, no more self-delusion. Okay, all right. Thank you, Cancer. Take care. Uh, remember to stay in prayer.